Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the best chocolate cookies and I'm just gonna claim it now. These are delicious, they are decadent, they are easy to make and I'm just gonna claim the title the best and you guys are gonna love making them. So it's a really simple ingredient. So most of everything I already had in my pantry um, and it's really a fast cookie. So you can preheat your oven to 350 degrees all of the measurements and how to do it will be down in the description box below. So we're gonna get started. You wanna line a baking dish with parchment paper so nothing sticks um, and get a large bowl to mix. I'm using a spatula to mix today. Uh, I wouldn't use a whisk. The consistency of the batter is more like, like fudgy brownies than a thin cookie or anything like that. So you don't want to use a whisk on this. A spatula or a wooden spoon works great. And then I like to have a little cup of water to the side. I'll show you what we do with that in a little bit. But the ingredients are very simple. I have one cup of cocoa powder and this is just unsweetened cocoa powder. If you use cacao, it's going to be a different measurement. I'm not sure. We generally really like cocoa powder and so that's what we use here. Um, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of unsweetened applesauce, um, one fourth cup of aqua fabla. If you've never heard of what aqua fabla is, you probably have it in your pantry right now and you don't even know it. All it is is the liquid from um, chickpeas and so I just, when I buy a can of no salt added chickpeas. I just drain the liquid and save it and it makes for a great egg replacer, like an egg white replacer. And so you probably already have a can of chickpeas in your house and I just refrigerate it if I'm not using it. But that's one fourth cup. Super easy to have. Um, and then for our our sugar, I use date sugar, and all it is is dehydrated dates that they've pulsed into a sugar. So that's half a cup of date sugar. I have two tablespoons of a non-dairy, non-sweetened um, milk, and then I added in either some, either I add in some vanilla extract and make these um, just plain chocolate cookies, or I add in some peppermint extract to make these like a chocolate chocolate peppermint cookie, kind of like those Thin Mints we all, or at least I did, used to like. Um, so for the vanilla extract, it's like one-fourth of a teaspoon. If you're doing the peppermint extract, it's like two to four drops. Peppermint extract is very potent, so go a little bit later on that side. And I just add it in with our non-dairy milk and set that aside. And then the last ingredient is half a cup of raw almond butter. And I just get ours from Trader Joe's and that's it. It's very simple. We're gonna mix it all in a bowl and we're gonna bake them. The cookies only take around 14 minutes to bake. And like I said, you can do lots of different things. You can make these a peppermint chocolate cookie. You can make these just chocolate. You can make them extra chocolate and add in some dark chocolate chips. You could put walnuts in these. There's so many different ways put some peanut butter, make them peanut butter chocolate. Um, this is just a great base recipe and then you can change it up to how you like it. I know I've been making these all holiday season and everyone's been loving them and it's just a great treat and um, we've been loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these in a bowl. You want everything to be well combined. It's going to be like a fudgy brownie batter. You know that it's all done when it's like that. And then we're gonna bake them. So super quick and easy recipes like always. In a large mixing bowl, go ahead and add in all your ingredients. I usually add the dry in first. So that's our cocoa powder, our baking soda, and the date sugar. All right, now our wet ingredients. I'm just gonna give that a little toss. And I will post pictures too of like what the batter looks like so that way you guys can know that you're on the right path but this is a super easy recipe so add in your non-dairy milk and either vanilla or peppermint extract whichever way you want to go our applesauce the aqua fabla which is just fun to say and last but not least our almond butter Thank you. 
All right, now once everything's in your bowl, you can go ahead and mix it. Like I said, it's going to make a fudgy brownie consistency, but you wanna make sure all that all the cocoa powder is really combined. So pretty much it's just folding it until you can't see any more of that, and it becomes this beautiful, really dark color. Once everything is well combined, I'm gonna post a picture of what it looks like on the screen right now. But it takes seconds to stir up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our dozen onto our baking sheet. And then you can go ahead and grab that bowl of water that you had. And I'm just gonna show you a special trick that we do to make our cookies even more pretty when you go to serve them. So let me go put my phone down and then grab a spoon and we're gonna evenly put out 12. Go ahead and measure out the 12 on your sheet. I try to take, get it as even as possible. Post a picture on the screen of what the cookies look like before you do this special trick to them. And so when you go to bake them like this, it would come out more rustic looking, um, but I like to make them look really, really pretty. So with that bowl of water you have, um, this is just a little quick tip. Now, your cookies might look like a little bit wet, they'll bake fine. Um, what I do is I take a clean, clean hand, um, just take your pointer finger, dip it in the water, let the extra drip off, and you're just gonna pat your cookie into the shape that you want it to be when it's done. And then also kind of clean up any of the sides, and that's how your cookie's gonna come out. And again, you won't, it won't matter, like the little bit of, um, I'll also put a picture of how mine look when they're wet, but it'll bake beautifully. So that's just a quick tip. You can skip this step. It won't change the taste of the cookie, um, but I like to pat them down a little bit and just to make them a little bit more appealing when I go to either gift them to somebody, bring them to a party, and I've just been doing that even when it's just for ourselves. So um, it's up to you if you want to skip this step or not. Again, these go in the oven at 350 degrees. They bake for 14 minutes. Um, keep an eye on them. You know, don't run off. It's a really short bake time. And I promise they'll be such a hit with your family and friends. And they've just been the best thing. So we like to do peppermint chocolate cookies. I like to add some chocolate chips on top sometimes. Um, sometimes I mix the chocolate chips into the batter. Or um, sometimes I just do them plain. You could also add in, again, if you want to add in walnuts or anything like that. Anything that really goes good with chocolate, you can do to this. So it's a lot of fun to make them the way you like and a little bit different. But I will have all the measurements and everything in the description box below. Doing this extra step just takes a couple extra, just takes an extra minute. It's not like it takes that much time. And I am almost done. I'm going to pop these into the oven. I will see you guys back when they're all done. Your house is going to smell amazing. And this is one of my husband's favorite treats that I've made over the holiday season. So definitely give this recipe a try. And I would love to know how you make these and what you do to make them kind of your own. Do you like them peppermint? Do you like them plain? Do you like them extra chocolatey? So good and easy. So I'm going to go pop these into the oven. I'll see you guys when they're done. Our cookies came out of the oven. I let them cool and they came out perfect. So we are so excited for you guys to try this. Um, I've been taking these to all the holiday parties. They're such a big hit. They also freeze really well, so if you're somebody who only wants a couple and wants to freeze the rest, they freeze beautifully. You can definitely do that. They turn out nice and soft. I'll put a video of it, me breaking one up close, but you guys are going to love it. So I hope you guys make these. Um, we actually did this in our December cooking class. If you guys didn't know, I do one virtual cooking class a month where you can sign up and cook with me in your kitchen. For January, we're doing four different whole food plant-based soups that are going to be great. So make sure you check out that information down below, and you can send me an email if you're interested. I hope you guys all had a great holiday season, and I hope you guys try this recipe. This is one of our favorites, um, and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.
Bye. It's like the perfect chocolate cookie.